So the first question that one would come up with is, if R is so great, how do you get it, right? So um, in the next few minutes, I will explain how to get R. And the first thing to do would be to visit R's website. So here's the R's uh, website. Um, it's uh, called um, http colon slash slash cran dot r hyphen project dot org. Um, and, and then if you type this, um, you, you get to R's website. Or even, even if you type um, search for cran, C-R-A-N, uh, you will uh, find the R website. The website is very simple. The first thing it tells you is you can download and install R, and you can do it for if you're running Linux or the Mac, uh, Macintosh operating system or Microsoft Windows, you can actually um, just uh, click and, and download. It's as simple as that. Now, you will also see that the, the latest release is available as of December 14th, 2009. Um, um, as I mentioned, that R is being updated regularly, and every f couple of months, uh, they release uh, a newer version, a uh, more um, powerful, more capable, better version, um, and it's being updated in, 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 in almost in real time. And, um, and the website is very informative. You can actually uh, go to R, R's homepage as well from this, which is called R Project. And, and again, it's a simple website, which, which is, uh, the purpose is to disseminate information. And um, you can click on uh, some graphics and to, just to see. And we are just downloading it in real time. So you see here the, the desktop. I'll, I'll click on the desktop the way it looks like in Macintosh, even though we will be working in, in the Windows environment. But just to make sure that you in, re realize that R is independent of the platform that you would work with, Linux or, or Windows or um, uh, Macintosh or Apple. So this is the, the Mac environment. Uh, so we created this uh, uh, brief document for you. Um, the purpose of this document, which is available through our website, is to uh, review the instructions on how to install R. So, uh, and I will go through this document with you right now. Um, and assuming that you have downloaded this document from uh, the course website and are viewing it. The first thing is to, you can download it, and since I, I'm based in Toronto, I, I downloaded it from um, the University of Toronto's uh, site. You can, um, you can use it, uh, you can go on the website and click it, click on it, and it gives you a lot of options. Now, the slides that I, that this document that when I prepared it was uh, version 2.9, and as you could see, the, the version released on December 14th was 2.10, and by the time you will be looking at this uh, document, uh, even a newer version will be there for you to download. And therefore, I have not uploaded, uploaded, um, uh, sorry, updated my 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 references to the version. That is the material. Uh, the process is going to be the same. So once you have clicked on download R, it, the 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 bind, the file will be around 36 megabytes, and um, I encourage you to use a high-speed internet access to do that. It would take a couple of minutes. It will download it. And the first thing, the dialog box will appear. You have to select a language. And of course, uh, if you are uh, familiar with English, you would select English, click OK. And then the next dialog box would appear. And that's the installation uh, screenshot. And here it tells you, welcome to R for Windows. In your case, it could be Mac or Linux, um, depending upon what uh, platform you have chosen. You click uh, Next here and then move further and you get another slide where you see the license agreement and you click next uh, from there and then it asks you where to install the software and you can actually change the option but if there's no particular reason to do this I would suggest that leave it as is it would install it where other software reside on your machine but unless uh, you have another reason to not to install it where other software are uh, feel free to specify it here. Click Next. And then after you've clicked Next, you will come to the screen where it offers, asks you what um, uh, uh, options would you like to install. For instance, what kind of help files. I would suggest just click on everything. Say, I would like to have all documentation available to me. And even if it doesn't make sense to you for why I should download it right now, these are just small files, one meg or two megs. And select all of these and say, click Next. Um, then the next uh, dialog box appear, and here you have to pay attention. Um, it says, should I um, 
the, the software is asking you uh, whether to have uh, um, a customized setup or a default setup and uh, I would say uh, please select use customized setup and once you have selected customized setup there's a radio button that you can highlight and then you say click next and when you click next that's the next window that comes up it asks you of uh, would you like to use one big window MDI or separate windows and here's the trick please select separate windows uh, because your, um, uh, you will then be working in R the way I would show you. I have, I've been using R in separate windows and, and it's helpful because the, the, the GUIs come up and disappear and having one single window is a little bit problematic and it's a very good option to have and I encourage you to select on separate windows. Once you've done that, um, um, the next option is uh, what kind of help files do you want and um, the Windows default option is selected and there's no need I would say to change this option just simply click next. Uh, the next option uh, the next dialog box that comes up it asks for uh, internet access just select standard it will probably already be selected for you and then lastly uh, or not so lastly it asks for uh, um, uh, start menu folder uh, it would suggest R and I said there's no need to change that these are by default click on next and then um, it gives you an option do you want a desktop icon or a quick launch um, and do you want to register files um, uh, with R um, these generic uh, options are already highlighted you don't need to do anything just click on it next and then after you've clicked next um, R will be installed it will take probably a couple of minutes depending upon the speed of your CPU uh, the and uh, once it's um, installed you will see a logo that like this on your screen uh, it will be sitting on your desktop you double click on this uh, logo and R will appear so um, the even though I, I, I feel I've slightly rushed through this process but since the uh, screen by screen instructions are available to you through this document that we are uploading on our website on the courses website um, you can actually go through this process at your own pace now once you have ins double installed R and, and double clicked on it you will see um, the R menu like this and uh, the R console like this and uh, there's not much point and click functionality in the, the generic R because this is what R looks like and, and as I mentioned that R is, has become it's becoming easier to learn R through R Commander and other options so you need to install R Commander but you cannot install R Commander uh, without installing R so we are going in the chronological order we have installed R and now we will install some key add-ins to make it more powerful and the first one I would like to install is the R Commander now the R Commander is the point and click GUI and um, um, be um, appropriate to mention the contribution by John Fox at McMaster University in Hamilton Ontario and the way to install our commander is to look at this I've, I'm highlighting this command when you are in R you type this command that I've just highlighted the command is install dot packages and within the parenthesis quote uh, start quote R commander and quote comma dependencies equal to true and no need to remember this because it's already um, written there so no need to memorize this, this command but this is the command you type and then our commander starts downloading um, the, this command starts downloading our commander and all the packages that you need to install this, to work with our commander and um, this would take uh, some time depending upon um, your internet speed it may take 15 20 minutes or more uh, once you have download it you actually the downloading and installation happens simultaneously it downloads all the packages it needs and then it installs them for you and once it's complete um, you can then type library and then in parentheses r commander and this is how you launch um, packages 